Hi, I'm Kiana Dorsey and I have severe nut allergies. I was born with food allergies. Um, I was born with a severe nut allergy because I got tested by my allergist um, as a newborn. And so growing up, my parents were adamant about educating me about my food allergy, from how to read a label, how to sight read and identify my allergens, um, and how to use my EpiPen and wear my medical alert bracelet and how to educate people. So from a very young age, I understood the severity of my allergy and how to advocate for myself. I have experienced anaphylaxis shock before. Um, it was when I was in high school. I was eating Indian food. It was really good. I was licking the bowl. And unfortunately, the sauce had ground pecans or something in it, and I didn't know that. Um, and so after I finished the food, I told my mom how good it was, how I wanted some more. And that's when I started to notice that there was something stuck in my throat, a very uncomfortable feeling. Um, I thought there was a piece of chicken stuck in my throat. So I began to swallow bread, milk, and other things that Google was telling me to do to get this piece of chicken stuck out of my throat. Long story short, my mom is taking me to the urgent care thinking that I'm choking on something. And in route, I realized, oh, I'm having an allergic reaction. I couldn't breathe, I was wheezing, I'm patting her as she's driving, like explaining to her, I need my EpiPen. Um, and so she had to make the tough decision whether to keep going to the urgent care or doubling back to the ER. Long story short, I get my ep epinephrine administered when I get to the urgent care, they transport me to the ER. And now I have a better understanding of what an anaphylaxis reaction feels like. It feels like a piece of chicken stuck in your throat. And to not waste 30 minutes swallowing bread. So growing up, I consumed a lot of content and television programming. And I remember thinking that there was never a little black girl with food allergies who had to pack her EpiPen, her epinephrine, her medical alert bracelet, read the label. And I was convinced that I was the only person on planet Earth that was allergic to nuts. Um, and that translated at school. There was the nut-free table, total of one, table of one, party of one, every single day. And so I began to feel isolated and othered, um, especially when it came to birthday parties and not being able to eat the fun treats. Um, and so I began to internalize that and really hate my allergy because it made me different. Um, and so that's how Food Friendly was born. It's a animated short that has been converted into a children's book about a little girl named Kirsten um, who learns to embrace her nut allergy when she meets a friend at the nut-free table and together they create nut-free snacks and an inclusive birthday party teaching everybody about inclusion and acceptance and that food allergies aren't that bad, you know, once you learn how to embrace them and navigate the world with them. As a kid, I feel like a lot of kids are kind of born shy. Maybe I wasn't one of them, but I definitely hated having to approach the chef, go to the front of the line, pull aside the cafeteria staff and ask them about the ingredients um, in the food. And my mom and my dad were very adamant that I speak up and that I not be afraid to speak up because it could cost me my life. Um, in the moment, I dreaded it. I, I loved how other kids were able to just pick something up and put it in their mouth, but I had to ask a ton of questions and go outside of my comfort zone. Um, but in hindsight, that really helped me. That really helped shape my vocalism um, and my self-advocacy. Now as an adult, I'm not afraid to speak my mind. I'm not afraid to state my needs and what I need to be successful. And so it was just grooming me to be a confident person and to not have social anxiety and to be my best self and make sure that I'm safe at all times. I wish that the general population understood the severity of food allergies as well as its complexities. It's not one size fits all. Everybody has different allergens, different reactions, different protocols, and all that we ask is that you accept it and listen and try to be helpful. If you'd like to learn more about the Food Friendly Project, go to foodfriendlyproject.com or follow us on Instagram at foodfriendlyproject.